Hello everyone, welcome back to Trev Dog Gaming here on YouTube. This is the game Subsistence, and we are in Season 2, and now Episode 208. Well, today's episode is kind of about... Well, not really, but kind of about these guys. All the plants and all the meat and everything. I'm going to have a look into, finally, I guess, uh, making some better quality uh, foods, I think. Um, oh, actually... Let me just have a peek at the sky. So it's about mi uh, maybe a tad after. Oh no, there it is. Okay, it's maybe mid-afternoon, something like that. What I want to do is to spend some time making the higher-end meals, but also test out these lights because I wanted to put that on camera so you guys can see all these extra lights that I put in and how they how they look and how they're working. Um, Electricity wise, we're already at 5,000, so yeah, that should go up quite a bit more, I guess, before the end of the day, which would be good. Um, okay, so quite often we attack one of the hunters, and uh, you know, they'll have some pretty high end foods on them, so we want to do the same. Have a look at what we can cook. We've got a fair bit of meat that we can make use of, so let's have a look. I just want to go through and make one of each kind of thing, that's what I feel like I want to do. Alright, simply uh, a potato and an onion. Alright, let's grab one of each. We might have to harvest some more food at some point. Can I craft that? There you go. So what's the next one? It's just a raw liver and two onions. Raw liver, got one of them. And two onions. Should be able to line that up. We've done steak and eggs before. Honey glazed pork, yeah, that's gonna be the big one. Wow, that's gonna be massive. Alright, I don't want to leave it there too long, I want to put it in the fridge. Uh, actually, so what what veggie tables are we low on? Can't, we're not really, really low, but probably right across the board. Hey, we could probably grab all of that. Hmm. Alright, let's do... Actually, how many seeds have we got? Oh, we have got one. We've got a tomato. Okay, let's do the tomato plant first. Okay, so we extract five, extract one, and extract one. We plant all our tomatoes. Yeah, you kind of don't get a massive amount from that, do you? Anyway, there the tomatoes done. We have a hash brown, which I'm going to put down the bottom there. Uh, onions. Onions. Did, I think I had a spare onion. Seed, didn't I? No, I didn't. Oh well. We're just going to grab these. Oops. I mean, we could almost... Uh, i tell you what, you, you could go through and just grab um, just about every vegetable. See, this is not so bad, because even if you grab all of them... I just actually wish there was an 8. Extract 8. Then you wouldn't have to do that twice, if you know what I mean. So there's the onions. See, that's gone from 16 to 32, that's not bad. Now we're almost done, so we need two porkies, we need two honey, gee we're not going to be able to make that very often, uh, what else was there, two potatoes and two carrots, two potatoes, two carrots, and then we can finally make one of these, awesome. So the liver and onions, we'll grab that, and we'll put that also in the fridge. Oh man, they look good. Making myself hungry now. Uh, potatoes, grab these out. Because we'll go hammer and tong for the um, through the tomatoes and stuff. Because we've got the uh, chickens to feed. Potatoes, we've got one. So we extract five. Extract one, extract one, there's our eight seeds. So we can plant all these again. Oh man, 
they need fertilizing too, Trev. I might go around and do a quick run on those too. Potatoes are up, so we've really only got the carrots to do. How about we do those over here quickly? Oh wow. Oh hang on, are they not finished? Oh they're not finished. Trev, what's going on? You're behind the eight ball. kind of feels like we've dropped down a little bit in the bed of fertiliser, that's kind of what it feels like. Oops, that can do with a little bit, that can do with a little bit, I've only just replanted them. Let's have a, what a sunset! How's Bravo doing down there? Hmm, Bravo looks like he's still only on... he's only at one level. He hasn't kind of really built his base up yet. Alright, what have we got? 100%, 100%, so the potatoes are fine. Looks like the... Sorry, the... What do they call them? The potatoes. The potatoes. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Oops. Okay, so they're alright. Yeah, you gotta keep... hang on. So, what we've got... Oops. Is... <laughs> sorry, my... <laughs> yeah, there's carrots out here as well. Um, sorry, my cat distracted me. I have a sliding door into the room where I do my taping, and he, he knows how to pull the door open. Looks like I might have to... well, I could put a lock on it, but... He would just keep scratching. Uh, I should have taken those from there. Okay, he's a typical... From what I understand, a typical nine-month-old ragdoll cat. Anyway. Um... Okay, I reckon... Go and check on this bit of food. We're about to put some lights on. So what do I cook? Oh man, the big... The big guy. Look at that. Oh, yeah. But look what it does, though. You got to wait until your um, fruit and veg is like 90 down. Hunger's 90 down. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it would be a yeah. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Time for lights. Time for lights. So normally I would just put. No, I haven't seen this happening yet either. So these are the two I would normally put on, right? Then we've got this one on this side. A little bit of the back corner here, a little bit dark, but otherwise I can see in the bedroom. I can kind of see right around here a bit better now, which is good. Then every time I came down here, you guys couldn't see that much. If I put that on... Well, I can see the corridor a lot better. Come down and check on the chickens. Oh man, <laughs> chickens need some work. Hang on, is there anyone bare out the front? I don't think so. Oh dear. All right, let me um, take care of the little chickens here. I'm going to do this twice to make sure they're well and truly watered. Eh. Uh, So they're about the same. They're, oh, 28%. I reckon I'm going to need steak and eggs at this rate. Otherwise I'm going to chew through a few tomatoes. Uh, yeah, we have got some steak. So... How about we just do these? Get some of them going to feed the chickens. And um, we'll need some t tomatoes as well, I guess. And then the other lights, we're just going to leave them on a little, little bit tonight to see what it's like. Oh man, yeah, that's that's a... I mean, I wish it was a little bit more powerful, but that's pretty cool. So there's that one. Oh, there's the garage one. Okay, hang on. 
So this garage corner one, what does that do for the place? Yeah, I suppose it's a little bit more lit up. Yeah, I suppose it looks a little bit more lived in now, doesn't it, when you look around the place and it's got all those lights. I guess that's the one thing too, like the floodies you can turn on and off. Just one switch. You kind of want to be able to do both with these individual lights. You want to be able to turn them all on and off. I mean, there's the four lights up the top of the tower too. We could put those on. That would look pretty amazing. Oops, hang on. Have a quick look. Is that light still over here? No, it's not. That must have been a rogue. Well, where's our mate Charlie then? Is that Charlie? There's a light. That, to me, looks like a slightly bigger light. I wonder if that is Charlie. Hope you guys can see that right in the middle of my screen there. That could be Charlie. Hang on, we'll double check. So this is Alpha. Oh, hang on. <laughs> We've got a light on either side of the lake there. Or pond. So there's my ore outpost one. There's no lights here. That's definitely Alpha with the little blue light. Oh no, I think I can see a green light. thought I saw a green light. That could just be a rogue down at the bottom of there. That's definitely Bravo. Although sometimes it looks like it is a green light, but it's not. Hmm. Well, that... That light that was over to my right hand side, east of my base there, that's definitely moved. That could just be the the rogue that's moved. There's another light way up in the top corner. I don't think Charlie would go that far from me. There's one there. Unless they bring out a little blue light, it's really hard to tell. You think it would be more obvious as they kind of have to go out and get timber and get food and all that supposedly that they would be using the blue lights a bit more. <laughs> so we're still we're still curious about where Charlie is. Well, he's definitely not showing up right close to my base. Yeah, I think the lights around my base look a little bit bigger. Look at that. On that angle, you can definitely see more lights happening. Hmm. Oh well, that's pretty cool. So how much is... each light doesn't take that much. I've got 1.4 going out. Yeah, it's not a big deal. It's still got 4,800 power or something, so... It's not huge. Yeah, I like it. It's getting back to morning already. Yeah, that's pretty good. If you want to do work around the place at night and everything, these lights are pretty awesome. Uh, I kind of wish they were a tad stronger, like if they showed up maybe twice as strong, it would be on, on a big, fairly decent sized base. Um, oops, they are a decent size. And we've still got one on the second level and the one's up the top as well. Yeah, it's getting light enough now not to have to worry too much. Alright, our steak and eggs happened? They did. I'm going to split these in half. Now, they're only doing 45. So what we... almost 25 by now. That only bring it up to 70. I guess... I guess we might take four tomatoes. That'll bring us back to 20. So that should actually be enough to feed the chickens. They should go pretty close to, if not right up to 100%. They're down to 22, so we do one. What's that bring us? Oh, that's definitely 100. Okay, cool. The chickens are going to be now completely fed. There you go. Fantastic. Enjoy that, chicken girls. 
Fantastic. Drop off a little bit more of the fertilizer. So what else did we need to make? So we've done everything on this fry level, the boil level. Oh, we've done the chutneys, they're, they're not really a big deal. Just making an egg. And let's just top these up while we have a chance. Is there any rendered in there? No, oh, there's ten. Okay. I'll take that. And take one of these out. And we need an egg. Which we easily got. And we'll boil an egg. Mashed potato. It's another water bottle. And two potatoes. Have to turn those other lights off in a tick or two. So I still haven't figured out exactly where Charlie is yet. Anyway. What have we done? Mashed potato. Should I try to squeeze it in over here? Maybe. Uh, you know what? We should have been doing more of the other stuff. Uh, maybe we just move these up. Making me feel like I need a, another fridge. Okay, so what what's next? So tomato soup. It's two tomatoes, two leaves and a water bottle. Hmm. Two leaves. That's the first time I think I can ever remember using that. Did I say two tomatoes? Gee, I'm gonna gonna end up needing more tomatoes soon. <laughs> Salmon too. 
That's pretty high end. Whole chicken, whole rib. Don't, don't uh, let your steaks. I can just hear that sizzling in the background, thinking, hey, "What am I doing again?" <laughs> we'll grab these two out. Yeah, I was just thinking we could have been. Now that there's a lot of strawberries around, we could have been making a whole bunch more chutney jam, berry jam, whatever it's called. But we do need a lot of glass, so we we'll have to sort that out as well. It's another thing. So hang on, glass. Where is it? Glass bottles. It needs. Oh wow, it's more than mass. A hundred mass would only make me four bottles. <laughs> Holy dooly. Yeah, that's expensive. I'm not sure whether that's four or six. Oh, we've got a fair bit of um, glass fragments at the moment, so we're not doing too badly. Actually, what's in these guys? Nine iron, nine iron, and another four water bottles. Let that keep processing, that's cool. So where do we get up to? We got the tomato out. So we've got the tomato in there. Uh, and the next one... Chicken stew, we can still do that, can't we? We'd have to lose one of these guys. So we'd have to cut that into halves. Put one of these down the bottom. We've got that. And then it's chicken shoot, potato, onion, and carrot. Potato, onion, and carrot. Okay. Let's make one of them. Oh, sorry. It's asking for a water bottle as well, I think. I think. I don't think I saw that. Is that right? Oh yeah, it's the water bottles off here to the side, okay. There you go, cook up the chicken stew. I feel like a chef, run around doing all this. It's fun though, I mean at least I've been able to say I've been able to do all these food types. Not that I think I'm going to get a chance to eat them all very often, but... So... Actually, we've got plenty of space in this cupboard. We might put some of these high-end ones in there, I think. We've got those four, and then one there. Yeah, the chutney just sits in the cupboard here, doesn't it? So which one was it? Mixed berry jam. That's the one I was thinking of. And that's the other actual chutney. See, the chutney's a bit long-winded too, actually. Kind of fairly similar, I guess. Hmm. All right. Well, almost done that, which is cool. Drink a bit more water. And then we'll be off to. I can't do that one until I have red rabbit. And that needs salmon. That I could do. And that I can do. All right. Let me put this in the fridge. Hang on. Where should we? We can definitely do this guy, so two potatoes, two onions, potatoes, onions, carrot, and then it looks like a, ch a whole chook, so we should be able to make that one now. Oh, look at that! Oh, how cool is that? I don't think I've used that before, have I? <laughs> How cool is that? It just sits in the bottom of the oven, bakes. Oh, look at that, and it's kind of like glowing. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I was just thinking, yeah, it probably would take a while to, to go through and bake. Uh, how 
are we off now with power? Oh wow, they're flying at the moment, 2.8 2.83 coming in Guess the wind turbines are doing a tiny little bit Hmm Oh well, we're back over 5,000, that should be a good day for them I think Is there by the way anything exciting happening out the front here? Any drops? You can see some fibre I think I can see a crate way over there And a dog, Charlie Well Charlie wouldn't be down there Actually Bravo's base does look a bit bigger to me He hasn't gone up a second level yet but he's definitely making the base a bit bigger Is that an animal? It is, it's a dog I think Well, I tell you what, if if Charlie was way up there, I, I wouldn't see him. I have a fair, fair old trip to get to him, though. Hmm. Alright. Let's get back to a little bit more cooking. I wonder if we should try fishing. See, we get a salmon. How about we do that? Hang on. There wasn't anything... Oh, no, there was something cooking. Hang on. Don't want it to sit in there and go off. We'll get this out. Which one was it? This the fish pie? Yeah, it needs. What is that? Three? Is that three? Oh my goodness! All right, put that down the bottom. I think. I think that's three. Oh, I need mashed potato again. Hang on, what's the mashed potato? There. I need another one of them. So two potatoes and a water bottle. We'll do that first. Water bottle, two potatoes. Back to making another one of these guys. And we'll store that in there ready. So, filling that up. Get that out of the way, that out of the way. Feels so good being able to make these extra recipes and stuff, it's pretty cool. Actually, I might um, just steal these two, rather than me using all my own water. Well, you know, it's all my own water, I suppose, but just these bottles, let them cook up. So, do I have my fishing gear in here? I do. So we'll pull that out, put that in there. I've got so much bait, it's not funny. Let's see if we can catch something, though. Fish for a little while, hey. Maybe that damn bird's not around. Would be surprised if he comes down. What are the chances of the salmon straight away? <laughs> yeah, you can fish for quite a while and not get your salmon. Oh, well, all I can do is try this for a little bit and see. Looking over there and seeing that claymore on the... Is that a catch? That's a catch. Thinking that that's a drop or a chest or a crate or whatever, but it's not. Ooh, it's a decent sized fish. It's a salmon, is it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> what? No way. I got the salmon first go. Yeah, that's funny. Alright, I need to fill it, this guy. He only gives me two, though. So hang on. Uh, we'll take that out and put it in here because we're going to use that. Then I think we need to cook these up. I think I'm pretty certain that's correct, isn't it? Because if we go to the fish pie, it says. Yeah, okay. Salmon fillet looks like it needs to be cooked. Alright, let's just be careful of this. We don't want to burn this. So that's not gonna, still not gonna work 100% because I think we need three salmon fillets. So we need two salmons. Okay, I'll have to cook this up and leave it in the fridge. Interesting, very, very interesting. 
So what was the last one? Could I actually make the last one? Yeah, actually I could. Okay. So, was it two potatoes, two onions, two carrots, and then a rack? Which we've got a spare one there. So we should be able to make that. Cool. So that's pretty cool. That's bacon in there as well now. Alright, they're half done by the looks. Steal a bit of the ash out, put that in there. Okay, so... Um, mm, 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 mm. Actually, we'll leave it over here because this guy and this guy we need to make the high-end stuff. And the high-end guy, which is this guy, what's it called? Roast... Roast ribs and veggies? Roast ribs and veggies, wow. Yeah, I think that's going to be a high-end one as well. So the roast chicken... I gather that's roast chicken and vegetables. Is that what it says in here? Yeah, and vegetables. So the next high-end one will be down the bottom here. Yeah, that, that's looking a lot better. Look at all the extra food types and stuff that I've got. Oh, that's awesome. I can probably add a few more in there over time. They, they seem to almost last indefinitely in the fridge, so... That's pretty cool. I've been wanting to do that for a long time. Okay. Let's take those. So what I might have to do is off-camera I might do a little bit more um, fishing. Well, that looks pretty good. I've never had that much food in the fridge. Like, it's only just recently that I got the second fridge. But there's no way I could pile all that into just one fridge, just not enough space. So it's actually 20 slots, so you kind of need all, almost all 40 slots to keep everything. <laughs> Alright, you done yet? Looking pretty close. Not that I can really see by looking in there, it all looks the same colour to me. So we've still got to make the fish pie and the rabbit casserole, but we'll have to get a pet rabbit. Might have to upgrade one of the hutches and put two chickens in. Or maybe we just make another hutch, I don't know. Uh, where is that? There you go. Ta da! Oh well, apart from those two, you know, I have to grab a bit of food. Might grab onion. Some of my own water again. Piece of kelp. There you go. Back, back to kind of pretty much full, I think. So yeah, that that is looking so much better. Look at all that extra food in there, right across the bottom, bits and pieces. All oh, that looks pretty, pretty spiffy. I love that. That's awesome. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna have to leave the episode here. Hope you enjoyed that today. That's a bit unusual, but. Yeah, it's a long time coming, actually. It's been ages since I've uh, made any decent sort of foods. Uh, you know, I've, I've never, in fact, made those high-end foods um, across all the seasons and subsistence. So that's a, that's a good thing, a new thing, I suppose. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to leave the episode here. Hope you enjoyed it today. If you did, you can help and support the channel by smashing the like button for the video. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, you can mega mega help the channel out by subscribing. Alright everyone, thanks so much. Cheers.